I, th I think uh, that might be one of the finest performances of your career. I'm curious how you feel about it. One of the finest performances of my career. Um, nah, I think I think uh, it's up there. You know what I mean? Uh, but I think Nasruddin and Dawkins was more because that was my first first three round. You know, 15 minute show my gut, battle of nutrition. Everyone knows I'm skilled. Everyone knows I'm a dangerous fighter. So uh, this is definitely a feather in my cap because Duran wins no, no like, walk in the park is a tough cookie, but everyone in the UFC is a fucking, you know, something stellar, so. You mentioned he's a tough cookie. Um, are you surprised just how tough he was? He took some serious shots in there. Yeah, uh, extremely, because I knew he was tough. I knew he was durable, but I didn't know he was that durable, you know what I mean? And I think uh, my last contest got me ready for that ready for that durability because I'm used to hitting people, boom, they fall, or hitting people and they show it and then they, you know what I mean, then I could get him out of there, but he didn't want to leave and I uh, uh, hope he's okay. I hope everything's all right with him. Is there a point during the second round or something where you're hitting him and hitting him and going, man, like, is this, what do I have to do to get this guy unconscious? No, no, just like I said, that's what happened in my last fight, right? Like, uh, pfft, mopping him, you know what I mean? And I'm like, What's this guy still doing here? And the, the same thing was happening right there. You know what I mean? I was mopping him, and then uh, but he wouldn't go. So, but I got a good corner, and they were telling me what to do. And we just stay composed, stay focused. You know, my guy, uh, my guy Empa has been telling me a lot this whole camp. You know, stay focused, stay focused. You know, because I have a I have a a mindset that goes dwindling. You know what I mean? Uh, but I just stay focused and stuck to the game plan. Uh, crazy elbows as well tonight, man. Like, was that something you worked on in camp? Did you yeah. know that, that was going to be for this fight? Yeah, yeah, because I, I knew he was a wrestler and we're both wrestlers, so I figured we we're going to be in a lot in the clinch. And my uh, uh, striking coach, uh, one of my striking coaches, uh, Dorian Price, helped me a lot with my elbow game and my, my knee game, which you guys saw on display today. Uh, it didn't matter in the end, but it doesn't surprise you that only one judge gave you a 10 8 in the first round. Only one judge gave me 10 8 in the first round. Uh, no, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, I really don't worry about like the judges' scorecards, really. You see how I fight? Like, I'm always looking for the finish. So, uh, 10 8, 10 9, whatever you score, whatever. Um, right before you walked in, I was just watching a little bit of beef with DC after the fight. What happened there? Yeah, it was just a misunderstanding on my, on my behalf, you know, because DC is such a role model to me, you know what I mean? Two weight world champion, you know, and just a, just a freaking stellar dude. So there's a little miscommunication and wrong place, wrong time. I apologize, DC. Don't don't beat me up. <laughs> yeah, it was what looked like one of those things where you'd realize you'd got heated up, and then as he was like shouting back, you're like, "Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry, DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be sure. uh, great performance, man. Thank you, brother. Hey, Megatron. Great performance hey, tonight. Hey, no hype. No hype. N no hype. Is that here to stay? That's here to stay. No hype. Long term. Forever. For the beating you were putting on him, do you think it was more the responsibility of his corner or the referee to end this fight? Man, uh, Herb Dean and the UFC has been here for a while, and I think they know what they're doing. So uh, I'm just let them do what they do, and I'm going to do what I do. And uh, not really, you know what I mean? Fighting in there is tough enough. I don't want to do their jobs. Like, they know what to do. I don't know. Calling to get on the London card July 23rd. Do you have an opponent in mind? Uh, man, I would love to be a stand-in for the, the Teal Hermanson. You know what I mean? They're, they're tough guys, you know? So let, let's get it cracking. Let's get it popping. Are you going to celebrate here in Austin? Uh, I was a barbecue. I think that's the thing. We could do some barbecue, something like that. Let's get it. Hook him. Let's hook him. My man. Hey, Phil, can you tell me a little bit about walking out to the Rocks theme? Hey, that's my dog. You like that, huh? The, dude, the people loved it, huh? Yeah, they loved that. Uh, man, I just feel like the Rocks icon. You know, I'm a huge fan. I knew the people would love it. Uh, and I'm going to stick with it, you know what I mean? Because as a kid growing up, fucking, do you, if you smell what the Rock is cooking, come on. It's iconic, bro. You can't beat that. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, when a fight is going like that and you're pretty much landing anything at will, like, is it kind of going through your mind that, like, you can start pulling things that you've been trying in the gym that you haven't gotten to try out in a fight? Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. So when, uh, when you start, feel it starting to slip away, it's like, okay, now let me get loose. You know what I mean? Let me start getting funky. And, and, and I have a good cornerman. They were helping me, telling me what to do, what to do next. You know what I mean? So I'm not in there by myself. It looks like it. But I have a good squad behind me, and they help me a lot. Like sometimes we also see like when, you know, you're landing things at will, but you're not getting them out of there. Sometimes we see guys just go ahead and try to get the takedown. Did that ever cross your mind? Or like, maybe I should just go going, bring them down or just keep picking them apart. On the yeah. Floor? Yeah. I was like, all right, you know, this is, this is cool. But like, uh, let me mix in some MMA in there, get a little takedown, try to get them out of there. You know what I mean? So just trying to, trying to give him something else to, that he has to worry about. Yeah. Hey, Phil over here. Hey, what's up? Were guy? you surprised at all that Duran wins someone who trains with, 
aka Habib, all the Dagestanis, were you surprised that he didn't even shoot for one takedown? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I wasn't super surprised. I thought he would go for it sooner. He didn't shoot a takedown at all? Nothing? No. Really? At least it doesn't show up as an attempt. Uh, huh. I don't know. Um, no, but I know people kind of question my chin. So I thought he, was, he is a big, strong wrestler. I know he's got power. You know what I mean? You see what he, you saw what he did to Mirshark. He saw uh, he hit, um, who's that guy? Uh, he hit uh, some other guys hard. You know what I mean? He's got some knockouts, some TKOs. So I knew he was going to come in, come out here and try to display some power. So Yeah, his last fight, he was 12 for 16 on takedowns. Did you see that? Uh, going into this fight against Aurora, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. But that that guy doesn't wrestle like me. You know what I mean? I'm a Division One wrestler, so uh, I knew he. It was gonna be harder to get those takedowns than he did in his last fight. Is the wrestling something that you see is gonna be extremely beneficial for you in this division, trying to move up? Man, 100. percent Like I said, like I said out there earlier, like I feel like I'm the only one that could be Izzy. I'm the only one that has Muay Thai experience, actual like fought in Thai boxing. The only one that's fought in uh, kickboxing, actual experience, pro, only Division One wrestler, you know, and now I'm in MMA and won the biggest promotion in the UFC. Tell me another fighter who's got credentials that I do, you know, who can wrestle, has Thai boxing and kickboxing experience, pro experience. I'll wait. Thanks, Phil. Yeah. Hey, thank you, guys.